seeker of truth. Sir Isaac Newton, the chairman of the board, fumed. You think you can do a leveraged buyout of the freaking scientific method? The next thing you know, for God's sakes, you'll be pitching the big bucks for truth itself. Rupert chuckled to himself. <laughs> yeah, he did. Newton was exactly right. Totally on the apple, so to speak. He had already bought out journalism for a mere five billion dollars. Why not science? And that would be the first step to bind up the whole of truth and reality. The whole shebang. It wasn't such a far out notion. Epistemology was already on the block for next quarter. He just needed a few swing votes on the board. He had a power lunch tomorrow with David Hume, and he had hired some ladies to take their cart out for a night in Paris and blow out his candle. <laughs>